first test. We're at the moment of truth. Will this thing call water? And will my water spreader work out just fine? I did manage to find all my hoses. I'll show you how this works. Spigot on the end. Fits in there perfect. So, that pump started in two pulls when I put fresh gas in it after sitting for 12 years unused, so that was amazing. I've actually never used it before. I just got a cheap deal on it, you know, 12 or 13 years ago and never found a use for it. It even survived my building fire when it burnt down. A little bit of smoke damage. So, I got a floater bottle tied on there so when I throw it in the pond it doesn't go to the bottom and suck up mud. So let's do it. That's working. Now let's see if this sucker fires up, but I got a bucket I gotta prime it with first. Oh, I'm assuming this is how you do this, because I haven't used it. Now it's all probably going in the green hose, which I hope is good. She's full! She's blowing overboard! Uh oh, my seat! Better shut her down! Oh, now I need ass protection! Damn it! Wow! That thing pumps a lot of water. That's good. Uh, tires aren't squished down too much, and I only have uh, 18 psi in them. Yeah. I, I made them light. I mean, soft for driving on the road and smoothing the ride. How heavy do you think that is now? You put that. Well, that's, that's 2,000 pounds of water. It's 200 gallons. So that's what's that in? 2,000. Well, well, that's a ton. That's exactly a ton of water. Wow. One ton of water plus the weight of the vehicle. One ton. Oh, that might have yep. to, uh, tell around one ton. Of now I got to see what it feels like driving it lo loaded. Oh, I'm not a good high pressure weld. I'm not a good high pressure welder. We do have a little pisser going. Oh, another one. Well, that's why I didn't paint it because I knew I might have a little leak in my welds. This hose, is, this hole is just the vent tube, so when you're pumping water in, air can come out. Damn it! Look at that. Ah! At least it's a sunny day and we can dry it up soon enough. I can't even drive it back now. I gotta go get something to scrape the seat off and get some ass protection. <laughs> Unless I drive it nude, then I don't have to protect my ass. <laughs> oh well. Well, that's what I want to do: is drain half a tank and drive and start. I want a fish tail like this and get it sloshing sideways, and watch it drive down the road. And you can all of a sudden just watch it shift itself over, probably. Do a little sideways skid. <laughs> well, as soon as I get my ass protection, I'll be back in a flash. All righty, here we go. Tell my front tires need a little air.
super tanker, right? She really is a super tanker now. That's good. Wouldn't even know. You wouldn't know there's a ton of water on that. Wow. Perfect. Now we can keep the dust down on the track. Brilliant. You know what? You can't even tell. Oh, a little bit. Oh, a little bit. Uh, it has a smoother ride. It takes off almost just as quick. It stops a little bit quicker, actually. And that's it. It just feels like nothing. It's, it's actually more comfy. So you're going to wet the track now then? Uh, yeah, let's do a... We'll just try wetting the gravel driveway before we go back there. Okay. So just meet me up by the barn where there's some fresh gravel. We don't want to make more mud here. There's no. more muddy here already. All right, I'll meet you up there. All right. Okay. Well, come on over and open my valve. Okay. Can you open your valve? There it is. Right, let's drive. Oh no. There it goes. Perfect. Perfect. Look at that. Wow, that's gonna keep the dust down. Perfect. Couple of laps, a couple of laps around. That'd be good. Do a second pass. That's good. Look at that. Works great. That works good, Dave. Perfect. Half full. Are those Got to be the craziest vehicle on the farm ever. It doesn't sway as much as I thought. Nah. It's think, actually pretty stable still. We almost have to tank. I think it's the shape of the tank, Dave. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's safe then. That's good. Yeah, it's yeah, safe. I'm, yeah. I'm impressed. There's no modifications except the third water output I need to put on. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Perfect, mate. Cool. Just don't let it freeze in the wintertime. No. Well, we'll always empty it, of course. <laughs> um, I made a boo-boo on that last video, but actually, it's a good boo-boo. I forgot and I left this sock stuffed in my vent tube. So that tube's there, so I let, of course, air out when we're filling it up. And of course, when you're lubricating the track, you have to pull the sock out so air can go back in and let the water out. So I actually just lubricated the track with half of the tank because it was only half full. 
and it did a really good job this time. It doesn't need a third valve in the middle. It has just the right amount of flow now. I had no idea that <laughs> the sock was in there. Now I feel dumb. It actually works awesome. Now I gotta go back and get another tank of water and lubricate the other corner. Sweet. Back to the old watering hole. I'll have to start that sometime too. I've actually got three ponds on the farm. All are man-made. You know, me and you should go in the back 40 now and make some waves with this tanker. 